our class. Settle down, settle down. So today, we got our final lab reports for Drosophilia. Yeah! Alright. Now first up, we got Group Dat. Group Dat, you ready? We were born ready. Alright, well let's go Group Dat. Alright Taylor, uh, it looks like our mutant flies have dark eyes and dark bodies. And our wild type flies have red eyes and light bodies. Got it. Okay, so from those mutant flies and wild type flies, we set up cross A and cross B. Cross A is our wild type males and our mutant females. And our cross B is our wild type females with our mutant males. So after our parental cross, we observed an F1 prodigy progeny and all of our resulting progeny were light body and red eyed phenotypes. This also um, resembles our wild type phenotype. So because of these results, what we'd expect is that it's autosomally inherited. Isn't that just interesting though? I mean, they all have the same phenotype and that tells you that it's autosomal. Is this making sense? I want you to get this. I really want to know more about your F2 progeny. Well, for our F2 progeny, we observed most of our flies were actually in the light body red eyed category for cross A and for cross B, and that's what you would expect for a dominantly inherited trait like the wild type trait. Um, but we did observe um, the dark body, dark eye trait having a relatively large amount of flies, which is not what you'd exert, uh, expect. So, based on our hypothesis that our trait was autosomally inherited, we should have seen a 9 to 3 to 3 to 1 ratio, but that is not what we observed. So clearly something is up and we gotta get to the bottom of it. That's so weird. So, so how'd you guys figure it out? How'd you figure out the ratios? Because our null hypothesis stated that our gene was independently assorted and we rejected that, it means that our gene was actually dependently assorted. Hey Mayor Fino, I really don't understand what to do next since our ratios were 9 to 3 to 3 to 1. So I'd really like it if you helped me out a little bit and explain what to do next. Of course, you know I want to help you always. I want you to get this. So you're going to have to do another chi-square analysis test. But you're going to have to do it with the right ratios this time. Alright Alex, so as you can see here, the eye and the body gene are both linked on the same chromosome there. So they are linked to each other and not independent. So as you can see in the P-cross here, both the parents are pure breeding, which then means that all of their offspring were heterozygous. All right, so I can see here that you got five wild types from your crossing. And then in this one right here, you got a complete mutation in both the eyes and the body. And then in this one here, you have a wild type in the eyes and a mutated body. And then in this one here, you have mutant eyes and a wild type body. So I guess I must explain your new ratios. So going off what Marifino said, our official new ratios are 5 ace wild type phenotype, which is the light eye light body, red eye, one eighth mutant phenotype, dark eye, dark body, one eighth wild type eye, red, and mutant body, dark, and one eighth mutant eye, dark, and wild type body, light. That's awesome, I mean, but, but don't you ever just wonder about your chi-square analysis? Okay, so our chi-square analysis for cross A gave us a total value of 25.23. And this 25.23, it correlates to a very low p-value, which led us to reject our null hypothesis. And that null hypothesis, well, our new one from our 5 to 1 to 1 to 1 ratio, was that the genes are dependently linked to each other. What? Why did you reject your null hypothesis twice? Well, actually, we know that our null hypothesis should not have been rejected, and so we did something wrong. So we have been racking our brains trying to figure out what it is that we did wrong. So this most likely occurred because when we began our experiment, we were unaware that um, newly emerging flies have a lighter color. 
So our wild type flies appeared to have a more white phenotype, which we thought was a completely new phenotype. So when we realized that this was actually not a new phenotype, there might have been some miscalculation when adding it into the new phenotypic, phenotypic category. Phenotypic is a word. Additionally, our cross B kite sword analysis test with our new ratios also showed similar results to our A result. It has a high chi squared value and a very low p value, which means that we are also going to reject our null hypothesis. All right, good job, guys. Uh, is this making sense to everyone? Do we have any questions? Any questions? Anyone? Anyone? No questions? All right, good job, group dat. <laughs> that was